Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the Southeast Asia Travel Vlogs. In today's episode, I will be eating my way around Penang's capital, Georgetown. It's a foodie heaven, believe me. I'll also be showing you just how many things there are to do in this vibrant city. I hope that you enjoy it. You guys, you are like resting on top of a bunk bed right now, but um, first of all, hello, it's been a while since I've spoken to the camera. Second of all, I know this angle is kind of weird. And third of all, yes, I have a totally new haircut, which I actually got back in Kuala Lumpur about a week ago now. But I haven't really had my hair out in vlogs and stuff because I really don't like it. Like the hairdresser just messed up my hair massively and I just, yeah, I'm learning to live with it. But um, yeah, I have woken up in Penang, in Georgetown. It's a very chill day and I'm excited to explore more in Penang. What I've loved about Malaysia so far is that so much is in Mandarin, obviously, and it's just so nice having just uh, studied more of the language recently to be able to kind of practice it or like see it around me and hear it around me. It's like really, really, really nice. And there have been times where I have managed to practice the language with some people. Like yesterday at the hostel, for example, one of the workers started speaking to me in Mandarin and it was just nice to speak to her that I want to practice it. Right now I'm just heading towards a bakery that I passed yesterday that looked so nice. I really, really, really want to go back to because the donuts and the pastries in there just looked insane. All these old buildings are so interesting. So this is the bakery we stumbled across yesterday, the Vian Rose. And honestly, look at these pastries. Don't they look insane? gave me a map of all of the street art and the steel rod sculptures around Georgetown so I've ditched my phone and Google Maps and I'm just gonna like wander around using this map the mosque is just down the road there which is what you can hear now unfortunately today I can't go in because uh, I'm wearing a dress but it's been nice to see it Chong Fatsa's Blue Mansion House here in Penang. I've booked on it onto a 2 pm tour. So excited to see all the architecture and the buildings. Apparently, the tour is very, very good. So I booked onto that for 25 ringgit, which is about just under five pounds. to Jakarta in Indonesia. And he started out as a water carrier. Oh, that also sounds really good. I'm trying to figure out who's just scored. It's Iran versus 
Wales right now. We're too far away from the screen. So, Bernie got recommended this new ice cream shop by Ooh. who? Someone? Yeah, yeah. Someone, some, some person? It smells really good. I think I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get two scoops more. I'm gonna get two, I think I'm gonna get two This is the ice cream. We're here. The ice cream. It's very popular. This place. So, very good recommendation. Ooh, I went for white roasted sesame. So I really like black sesame. And the white one's really nice. This gelato is really creamy. It's really creamy. It's really nice. So nice. Put that pistachio on top. So good. Just what I need them. I've come to Etam, uh, which is where you get to go to the Kepiopsi temple. Um, but before I go up, I have come to Etam's uh, sister Kainu, which is meant to be really famous for Kainu noodles, for a late breakfast. Yeah, I am, I'm feeling the exhaustion, guys. I really am. I keep it really good. So we're heading to the temple. It looks so beautiful. Guys, air is ham back there where I was. It's just so chaotic, so hectic. Cars, motorbikes everywhere, all the street stores, all the clothes markets, like everything. Just chaotic. Haven't seen anything like that in Malaysia, like that cram pack so close together, so many people, so many things. Very interesting. And I'm just walking up down this road to the temple you can get a taxi and I don't think the, the bus might even drop you up there like a different bus but the bus I got didn't so just walking up now it is getting very hot and I am also aware that it is a Sunday so I'm not sure how busy the temple is gonna be but I have to see it before I leave this evening Exhausted. I think it's yeah, combination of the heat and well, I don't know. I don't know the heat and the hike yesterday, and maybe the remnants of tonsillitis, which I know I keep going on about on the trip. But being sick when you're traveling alone is not the best. Like it really isn't. I nearly missed the pagoda, but I made it up to the pagoda. It's two ringgit to enter, and I've climbed all the way to the top, and you do get a really nice view of Georgetown from the top so yeah don't need really for me to go up and down hill um there you go as you can see it's quite a nice view you can also see the rest of the temple from up here it's massive then you can see the goddess of mercy statue there it's a really peaceful temple that I would honestly recommend coming. It's just so nice and serene. I did a bit of journaling, just wandering around. 
it's so big as well and there are so many little sections like there's a garden down there with lots of plants and flowers yeah all in all glad i made the trip up but i'm also very excited to get back and have some lunch and to not feel so sweaty So I got the Portuguese custard egg tart. I'm gonna see what it tastes like. I've been waiting for the bus for a while now. I've moved to another bus stop um, according to Google Maps, so I'm hoping it comes. It's meant to come in like five, 10 minutes. If it doesn't come then, I might just get a grab back because I really need to get back. I don't have all this time in the world to wait for the bus. Guys, I think the bus is here. I'm really hoping this is the correct one, but it's just come around the corner. Let's pray. I'm gonna repack my entire bag so that it fits on the flight from Penang to Ankara. Um, I really don't enjoy doing this because I have to squish everything down. I just finished packing. I don't know why, but I like drop ripping and sweat when I'm packing. Like, so what? But I think it's because I've never found it. So I packed the bag. It's not as small as it could be, but I can't be bothered to repack things and squish things down anymore. So we're gonna hope it's okay for the flight. We'll find out. Thank you. 